Good morning, people. So, I recently got curtain bangs, as you can see. Here's a little close-up. And I figured I'd make a whole video on just like how I like to style them, some hairstyles um, that are kind of 90s themed, early 2000s that I've just been liking lately. I know that this is like kind of a huge thing now to get curtain bangs. And listen, I'm here for it. Um, I don't know if I'd ever get like full on bangs, but I do like the look of these like shorter curtain bang side pieces, whatever you want to call them. So let's start with how I maintain them, how I dry them, just, you know, all that jazz. So usually once I get out of the shower, I love using my Revlon um, hair dryer that I'll link below because it's the best thing I think I've probably ever invested in. Um, and it's honestly not even that expensive, I don't think. I think it's only like $50, $40 maybe? I don't know. Anyway, besides the point. So I use that and I'd like to dry my bangs first because I feel like they kind of dry flat when I just let them air dry. And so I just take the, the hair dryer and then I curl it under first a few times and then I curl it um, in the back just for like some volume. I saw my hairdresser like when she originally cut these, she kind of gave me like a how to on like how to style them um, with an air dryer and with an air dryer, <laughs> with a hair dryer. <laughs> and so then I kind of like take it like side to side and um, this just helps like give it more volume because personally my hair is pretty flat. Like I'd say it's not naturally that voluminous. So yeah, that's basically like how I dry them, maintain them. And then um, I usually take just like any kind of hairspray and like hairspray it like down. And so it kind of gives you that like little um, windblown look. So yeah, that is essentially like my how-to on how I style them. Um, now I'm gonna take you guys through some of my favorite hairstyles and just like fun hairstyles that you can wear with your curtain bangs. Cause I feel like they do add just like a little bit of, a little bit of pizzazz, you know, to your hair. Anyway, so let's get started with the one I wear the most often, which is the classic clip. So today I'm gonna to be using just like this one that I got from Ulta, it came in a pack of two. I like using the tortoiseshell one just cause I think it looks kinda of nice with my blonde hair. Um, but I have a black one as well. And so I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen um, this hairstyle, but my technique is that I like to take all of my hair and then I twist it like this. Like I'm gonna be putting it in like a little um, ballerina bun, but then I go up and then I loop it around. So it is kind of like in a bun formation, but I make sure the hair is at the top. So it gives you that like little messy effect. And then just clip, and then I like to just pull out these pieces, looks like that. And this one, I feel like is the easiest because it's like the go-to, like how to get your hair out of your face kind of look. And it's just, ooh, so cute. So yeah, so simple, and these clips are like so cheap. Like you, and you can find them anywhere too. Look number two. Look number two is a little different for me, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Um, for these, you are going to need scrunchies. These I got from um, ASOS, but the one I use all the time for like ponytails and stuff is from Anthropology. But I didn't get it; it was a gift from Christina. So shout out to my friend Christina. Anyway, so let's get into these space balls. Okay, so you're gonna do the same little twisty thing. And then, I kinda like the look of using two different colored scrunchies, cause I feel like it adds a little sum sum, you know what I mean? And then, do you guys ever feel like one side of your head is so much thicker than the other? Or is that just me? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if that's normal. Cause I don't know. Okay, oh, okay, so they're not quite even. <laughs> Look at me, hi. Okay, so these didn't turn out exactly how I pictured them to turn out. I don't know if I'd wear this, but they're kind of cute, I don't know. No, I definitely wouldn't wear these in public, but 
I hope that you guys can pull off this hairstyle better than I can. <laughs> now let's get into a hairstyle that I actually do love. And this next hairstyle kind of reminds me of like a, a TikTok, like e-girl kind of hairstyle. Um, this one is like, I feel like a classic concert hairstyle. Not that any of us are going to concerts, but if you wanted to just, you know, spice up your look, I love butterfly clips. These ones are from Urban Outfitters. I got them like last year, but look how cute. I love gold. And so anything gold accessories, I'm just like, oh, I need it. Okay. Anyway, for this one, you're gonna keep your curtain bangs. And you're just gonna take like a little piece of hair, like this much guys, like that much, not that much. And then, oh God, you can see my bald spot, abort. Okay, okay, like this. And then I'm gonna take the butterfly clip, put it like in the middle towards the, towards the end. Oh, there we go. Now, let's do, the other side. This, why is this side so much easier? Okay. Just make sure it looks all cute. Okay. And we're gonna try to match it. Okay. And there we go. Look how cute this one is. This one's like, um, I'm just going pumpkin picking. I don't even know. But yeah, isn't that cute? I love the look of butterfly clips. Like I just feel like they're, they add a little, I'm not gonna say pizzazz because I've already said that too much. So next one, we're gonna go with a lazy girl kind of hairstyle. So we're gonna take all of the hair. I like have this candle and it's scaring me that, like I can't tell how close my hair is to this candle. So I'm like, eh. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna keep the part where your curtain bangs are. And then let's just bunch up all this hair at the top of your head. And then messy bonnet. So let's just get all this hair. And then using scrunchie, you can use a thicker scrunchie and it'll add like a cuter effect to it because then you'll be able to see it. But this one is so fun and I love the look of like high ponies, messy buns with the curtain bangs. Like I just think they are the freaking cutest. So cute. And the messy bun is complete. I think the final hairstyle I'm going to show you guys is one that I've worn in videos before and it is so cute. So let's get these little clips. I got these ones from ASOS as well. And I feel like they just add a little sump sump, you know what I mean? So, it's gonna be your classic half up, half down, but clip edition. Clip edition. Okay, so let's take these front pieces and then connect them. You can like twist it, braid it, however else you wanna, you know, style it up. Take the little clip, and then bam. So cute. Super fresh. Now, there we go. Just levels up, you know? Levels up your look, especially with this cutie little accessory. It's like, oof, she tried today. When it's like, oh, you didn't really try at all because it was, was so easy. All these hairstyles literally took like less than five minutes. So actually like less than one minute. So I hope that these gave you some ideas for back to school or if you wanna like, you know, feel like you're having a different hair day with your Zoom calls. I don't know what you guys are up to, but I hope that this video helped and I hope you guys got some ideas. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah, I love you guys so much. See you in my next video. Thank you.